Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how I got rid of and treated my perioral dermatitis. Truth be told, I probably shouldn't wore makeup for this video, but I was already doing other things, so I was like, I'm gonna film this video for you guys. It's really a product show and tell. Um, I will throw in photos of what my skin looks like, so there's proof. But before we get into it, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified every time I post a video to see more of me. So real quick, I'm going to give you guys a definition of perioral dermatitis. So it says, perioral dermatitis is an inflammation rash involving the skin around the mouth. The rash may spread up to the nose or even eyes. It usually appears as a scaly or red bumpy rash around the mouth so basically it's a nasty rash it can be triggered by a lot of different things I really suggest you guys look into that and triggers and all that type of stuff if you do have perioral dermatitis but in my case it was triggered by overuse of topical steroids and I know that sounds scary but it's basically a cream that my doctor prescribed me and I used it too much because I didn't know what was in it and it caused me to have this nasty rash. A quick fast story of when I got the rash, when I realized it was a rash, and when I got rid of it, just so you guys can know a time frame, like a timeline. So in November 2019, I realized something was going on with my skin around my nose and my mouth. It was getting really red and itchy and all that. And it was getting pretty severe, but I do have a history of eczema. So I kind of just put it to the back burner and went about my life. So after a couple long months of trying to figure it out on my own, I ended up going to a dermatologist in the new year of 2020 and I was diagnosed with perioral dermatitis. So once I was diagnosed, I took it upon myself to research things to do and prevent it just to get rid of it. It was driving me insane because I didn't want to take the medical route at first. I do want to take a quick moment just to throw in that I am not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist. This is all my personal opinion and my personal research. I do want to say, Go talk to your doctor, try to figure out what the best treatment is for you. Everyone is different. So let's just get right into what I actually use to treat my perioral dermatitis. So I did use a mixture of over-the-counter skincare products, but towards the end of it, I did go to my dermatologist and I did get prescribed antibiotics and I think that's what cleared up my skin to 100%. But will I say it's impossible to get rid of it without antibiotics? No, I just wasn't waiting any longer. I had enough of it. I know antibiotics is not for everyone, but for me, it was the route I was willing to go and I think it's what helped me the most. But if you're looking for certain products that could help you, I'm here to let you know that there is some out there and I'm going to show you guys what those are. So I chose to keep my skincare routine really simple when I was in the process of trying to calm down my skin. So I chose things that aren't irritating and didn't cause my skin to have flare ups. I was lucky enough that I didn't go through many products that did this. It's kind of a... A science experiment you have to perform on yourself you have to keep trying different things to see how your skin reacts with it um, like I said I didn't go through too many that actually irritated my skin I kind of found the ones right away and stuck with those so the first product that I use and I still use and I've used for years is African black soap so with the African black soap it can be drying and stripping but not irritating to my skin I don't know for everyone else but if you have natural real organic African black soap it can be drying and stripping but for me, it helped clear up the perioral dermatitis. Even though technically it's a dry rash, you need to kind of cleanse that area and make sure you're not building up too many oils and grease and stuff on it because it feeds off of that. So this is a soap I use. I didn't use it as often when my flare-ups were going on. I, use, I normally use this like every day, like every night, but I was doing it well like every other night, like I said, not to over dry my skin, but it definitely helped clear like a good amount of that rash away and this really helps for everything I recommend African black soap to everyone because I use this to get rid of my acne and it 100% got rid of my acne like no tomorrow so this is the brand I'm currently using now um, it kind of changes as long as my the ingredients are the same it's perfectly fine basic ingredients like water honey aloe shea butter don't ask me how the science of this stuff works but it just works so the second soap I used was this spectro blemish prone cleanser why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, I recently did a um, review for this, so check out my video on that because it has a lot of different benefits. But this is a really gentle cleanser. It doesn't foam, it doesn't get all like strippy and make your skin all dry. Um, sometimes it just kind of feels like you're washing your face with a gel. I used this when I wasn't using the African black soap. It didn't cause me to have irritation or anything, so that's why I like this one. So when it comes to moisturizers, this is the only moisturizer I use because 
like I said, if you have peripheral dermatitis, you probably already like kind of recognize this. It's like you're dry, but you can't over moisturize because it will cause it to flare up more. It's a little insane. This is a moisturizer that I use. It's a Serafe. I think that's how I pronounce it. How are you supposed to pronounce it? I'm not sure. Um, moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. It doesn't actually say this is like advertised for face, um, but honestly, advertisement be chicken people because as long as the ingredients are okay, you can use it on your face. Um, technically, you want to be using good ingredients on your body anyways. So yes, this is the moisturizing lotion for normal dressed skin. It's very thin, lightweight, but keeps me moisturized. I still use this. This is me and my husband's favorite like face moisturizer. Oh, it also says on the back that the dermatology review panel approved this. So if it gets a good approval from dermatologists, then you know it's pretty good because not a lot of products get that. And the last product I used, so I only used four products, and this is when I would wear makeup. I tried not to wear makeup when my flare-up was happening because it can irritate it, but if I did or I needed to, I would definitely only use this product to remove my makeup, and then I would wash my face with the other products I just showed you. And this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. I did a whole video on this. I love this stuff. As you can see, it's basically gone. I gotta buy a new bottle. Um, it's one of the best cleansing oils I've used so far and I'm in the process of using others but I really just look at this on the shelf and I'm like I just want to use you but I'm using the other ones to test it up for you guys but this is my go-to favorite cleansing oil I honestly love it over coconut oil it's so soft on the skin it doesn't hurt the skin it doesn't strip it doesn't sting nothing it just removes the makeup and washes off with water with ease I love this stuff if you're gonna listen to me for anything go buy this please buy this that's really it for the video guys I just want to show you guys some of the products I use because I got some questions on that but like I said I am on antibiotics I'm still on antibiotics to this day I will be finishing at the end of this month but um I did get put on antibiotics for about four months and I think that that's what fully cleared my skin I will give you guys more of a update when I actually finish them because I know people ask me like does it stay away if you're not on antibiotics I have no idea because I haven't finished them but being on them they did definitely clear my skin up so when I'm done them, we'll be just watching my face to see if I have another flare up. Hopefully not, but I'd be trying out a lot of products for you guys. So I feel like certain products can cause flare ups. But if anything from this video, I want to say to you guys, if you have perioral dermatitis, which I think most of you do if you're watching this video, it's not the end of the world. I get it. I, it kind of sounds crazy coming from me. You're like, yeah, whatever. Yours is all cleared up. I had mental breakdowns. When I had my flares, I just felt so ugly. It hurt, it was itchy, I just, it was bugging me so much that I was just crying to my husband. But once I cleared it up, I was like, okay, that, whatever, that wasn't that big of a deal. People have skin issues, I dealt with acne my whole life. You get some weird stares, I do get that, but right now it's coronavirus time, so you should be wearing a mask anyway, so no one should be able to see it. But that's it for the video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.